So this is my current table saw crosscut sled and as you can probably notice it's based on John Heiss's table saw sled. I had to make a few changes to it myself in particular to make it smaller to fit on my own table saw. It does work as intended and at one point I even got a very good result from the five cut rule. However, it is starting to fall apart from age, like the MDF at the back has already been broken from me accidentally dropping it. And the runners at the back are also falling off even though I've glued them in place and doweled them as well. The main problem that I have with these table saw sleds is that the solid wood runner always tends to jam up in the mudder slot of the table saw and especially when there's a change in season. In the winter it is very very humid here and you can even see condensation in the interior of the roof and in the summer it is very dry in here. It is almost like an oven inside the workshop because there's no insulation in the roof. And so what I tended to do was to scrape down the runner so that it fits in the winter when it is very humid and then lay on a piece of uh, painter's tape along the runner during the summer. And you can notice that in some of my past videos. I've tried both types of runners that have the grain running tangentially or radially. Both types tend to jam up in the mudder slot no matter what. Uh, they still contract and expand quite a bit despite what the internet says about which one is being more stable. I was once even tempted to use this UHMW plastic for the runners because I heard it's pretty good for this application and that's why I even bought one. But on closer look, it's actually a little bit too soft to be a runner because the runners actually provide quite a bit of structural strength to the overall sled, especially that way because it's just a thin piece of plywood over there. You could make it thicker, but then that would sacrifice blade height, which I really don't want. I'm also really sick and tired of having to lift the sled up every time I need to make a cross cut. And so that's why we're going to be making a sliding table attachment for the table saw. Now my design is mostly based on Hector's format table saw, which is all over woodgears.com. I've only changed some of the sizes to meet the material that I have on hand. The sad thing is the plans were once free and open to the public but now they charge money for it. Luckily I got my hands on the plans while I was still free and downloaded a copy of the plans for the sliding table. However this will mean that I won't be able to share the plans with you guys because I really don't want Hector to come knocking down my door.